So now that we have a circuit schematic that's divided into modules and then a hierarchical page is also there which connects the modules together, uh, there are a couple of different situations which may arise. Number one is what if we have to make a modification to one of these blocks. Now there are two ways in which you can do that and if those modifications include creating uh, new ports that either go out of the particular module or come into a particular module then as you can understand those are the things which would have to be propagated up to the hierarchical block as well. But if you need to make any modifications internal to a particular schematic page then you can just do it there simply and nothing else would need to be done. So let's talk about how we can make modifications to these uh, blocks. So one of the things that I would like to show you first up is when you create the hierarchical block page like I showed, then if you double click each of these hierarchical blocks, then it will take you to the corresponding schematic page. So let's test that out. So this uh, oscillator block, if I double click it, it will take me to the oscillator page. If I double click on the clock IC block, it will take me to the clock IC page. And uh, by induction, if I double click on the output block page, it will take me to the uh, output block uh, output block schematic. Now, uh, what we will do as an example is, say for example, I suddenly decide that I am going to have a uh, sort of a new uh, connection here that's a output and that goes out of the clock IC and then is taken as an input in this output block. So there are two ways of doing this. The first thing is do it on the hierarchical block page. So what we would do is we would place a hierarchical pin which is uh, we will select the 8284 and then this is the hierarchical pin. So remember on the hierarchical page we can only place hierarchical pins. So we put a hierarchical pin. Let's name it as a new signal and this would be output on the clock IC and a scalar signal. So we would put it here say for example and then we select another pin that would be an input on the output block and the name let us keep it to be the same or maybe something uh, different let's say yeah new signal is fine so we do a scalar and the input and then we place it here right so when we do that then we are done with it and uh, what we can do is simply connect these two things through now if we are now going to be doing this or propagating this change because if we go back to the 8284 circuits page we see that there is nothing in here that sort of reflects that change that we made in the hierarchical page neither is there anything in the output block where we should be seeing another a port coming in from somewhere else right the way to do that is right click on the particular block that has a change and since the hierarchical block is considered to be the topmost structure we have to propagate the changes down so you would see there is something called a synchronize down hit that you would be given a message that talks about the fact that whatever change you are going to be making is a change that you cannot undo so that is fine we just do a yes on that and if you see then on your clock IC page now it has automatically introduced a port that's named new signal now you can place it anywhere then connect it to whatever part of the circuit you need to connect to and you should be done with it okay similarly if we right click on the output block and propagate the changes down then we would see that now on the output block page we have an input port with the same name that has been created and you can connect it to whichever point that you want okay so that's about uh, propagating changes down and in the next video what we would talk about is how you can uh, propagate these changes up right so well uh, let's meet in the next one